Okay, welcome to part two of our quiz review. We're gonna start off where we left, which was graphing equations without making a table, but identifying the slope and y-intercept. So we remember slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, where b is your y-intercept and m is your slope. So let's go find each one of those. Here is our b value or y-intercept is four and number five, and our slope is negative four, we're going to write that as a fraction. So we're going to put it over one like that. So to plot this, we're going to first plot the y-intercept. So go on the y-axis up to four. And then we're going to use our negative slope. So negative, we're going to go down four here into the right one. From your y-intercept, go down four to the right one, down four to the right one. And that's plenty of points to draw your line with a ruler through them and arrows at both ends. Going over to number six, we've got our y-intercept is negative three. So b equals negative three. And that's our first point we're gonna plot on the y-axis. So start in the middle and go down to negative three. And our slope is two, or our slope is two over one. Same thing, right? Now that's positive, so you're going to be going up two to the right one. From the y-intercept, go up two to the right one several times, continuing going up two to the right one. You can reverse this pattern and go in the opposite direction to plot a point to the left of your y-intercept. That's plenty of points. Go ahead and take your ruler and draw your line through your points, and you've got two great graphs without having to make a table. So let's do number seven and eight. Let's jump down to number seven. And let's find the slope of this line. Now slope is the M variable, right? And Y equals MX plus B. And slope is the same as rise over run. Has a lot of names, right? Change in Y over change in X. Vertical change over horizontal change. And slope even, even has its own equation. But for number seven, we're not gonna use the slope equation. We're gonna start with a point on our line that's already right there on the left. And from that point on the left, we are gonna figure out how far do we have to rise up to reach the level of the point on the right. If you count each line as we rise up, we had to rise up 10 spaces. So our rise is gonna be 10. Our run or our horizontal change is going to be one, two, three, four spaces or four. So starting with the point on the left, we measure the vertical change divided by the horizontal change, another name for slope. Look at all those nicknames. So now we can take that 10 over four and we can reduce that to just five halves. And that's your final answer for number seven. This is the work we expect to see as teachers for you to show us you understand how to find slope on a graph. Show us your rise and your run, or sometimes you have to go down and to the right. All right, in number eight, you have to find the slope of the line through these points. So we are gonna bust out the slope equation for this one because we don't wanna have to graph these points. Our slope equation is the change in Y. So the subtraction of the Y values divided by the subtraction of the x values. So do yourself a favor and go ahead and label your x and y values. These are your x values, right? That's your first one and that's your second one. These are your y values, your first one and your second one. Go ahead and insert them into the slope equation. And remember these minus signs come with that slope equation. So put those in there too. Let's write down y2 minus y1, or five minus 20. And then x2 is negative 15, and x1 is negative 10. So put that negative 10 there. Up top, you have five minus 20, or negative 15. And down below, slow down for a second, because we have a minus a negative, and that's gonna turn into plus a positive. Negative 15 plus positive 10 is negative 5. Time to reduce that down. 15 and 5 both can be divided by 5. 
So five fits into 15 three times and into five one time. And a pot or negative divided by a negative is a positive. So our final answer is positive three over one. Stay tuned for the next part in our series on this review.